Welcome to Dakota Preparedness. Today we're going to do a straight up gear review with the solar generator from Brietti AC 180. It has 1800 watts of, of surge capacity and it has a battery capacity of 1152 watt hours. There's three ways to input into the generator to recharge it. The simplest way and the, actually the fastest way is utilizing this cord right here. You take the three prong and put it into your regular AC circuit. You take this plug and on the side here there's a position for it and it's protected by this little rubber flap. And I charge it all the time so that when there is an emergency, it's at 100% capacity. The second method is to use a car cable, and this bracket goes into the car. This one goes in right here. And you get about 100 watts per hour. So yes, if you were charging it by just the car, it would take you about 11 hours to recharge. Now in some situations, there's no problem with that. Um, years ago, I went up to Quebec in Canada on a hiking trip and I had uh, a forerunner to a solar generator and I simply would charge it while the car was traveling up to Canada and back. So there was just no problem with that. The second method is using a solar cable. that looks like this and it comes with the, the original purchase. This plug goes into right here and these go into your solar panels. Now when I tested the Blue Eddy I used two 100 watt Renegade and this one in there, this one in here, it was in the fall, it was somewhat sunny and I was consistently getting 160 watts. So with that, if you had a, even a limited day of daylight, you can get it back up to 100%. So let's get a close-up of the unit and we click on the uh, control panel and you can see it has zero watts coming in, zero going out, it's at 92% capacity and let's plug in some devices. One is we can plug in through the DC a um, light, a reading light. We can also hook in the fan to one of the four outputs for USB. So it has four outputs for USB, it has a, another USB-C 100 watt output, it has four outputs for AC, it has an input for, or excuse me, an output for uh, DC power that you plug in, that's what this port is, and then if you're charging it by the automobile method or a solar panel it goes into here so let's once again look at this we have three watts going out none coming in of course and you can have simultaneous input and output and we're gonna we've got the AC unit on and we're gonna plug in the space heater And you can see that our output, the demand on our system immediately goes to 709 watts. 
If we ran all three devices, it calculates that it would last an hour point three. But once again, the main purpose I bought this for was to keep a refrigerator going and from previous testing it has output of about a hundred for the refrigerator and I would be able to with the solar panels on a decent day get a hundred and sixty input or from the um, input of the car I could get a uh, hundred watt units coming in so it would almost balance with the car although that is not the normal logic or methodology to charge it with the car. It would be more that you were going to a camping or hiking place or coming back. I also did purchase a uh, 20 foot long cable. It's called an MC4 solar extension cable. Uh, 10 AWG pair. And the logic on that is I could connect that to the solar panel and therefore have the solar generator covered from rain and sun and yet have the solar panels 20 feet away and be charging. So just a very helpful unit, has lots of possibilities. Uh, once again back to the refrigerator. If you have a refrigerator and will keep it closed and you run it for about one hour a day it will maintain a fairly good temperature. So even without any methods of replenishing or recharging the Blue Eddy, in theory, I could keep it going for 11 hours or 11 days. <laughs> the Blue Eddy AC180 can currently be bought for $648 from Amazon. You can have the uh, Renegade solar panels and it will also accept a number of other type solar panels. You just have to look at their user's manual. But we could have input as well as output. And I also think we can have DC and AC running. So we've got our light on with the DC We've got the heater running with AC, and we'll get our fan going again. So right now, with all three devices going, we're pulling about 705 watts. And our battery bank would at last about 1.4 hours. Now keep in mind, one of the ways we could charge this in an emergency is we could take a uh, gasoline generator or a propane generator and let's say if the Blue Eddy was at zero, we could use those to keep a refrigerator going, but, and I'll call it you're spilling or you're wasting all of this energy. Maybe you're running a Honda 2000 so you're producing 2,000 watts an hour and you're only using 100 to keep the refrigerator going. Well, you could plug it in to the cord here and be doing, in effect, an AC charge of your Blue Eddy. So it is a tremendous tool, lots of power, lots of flexibility. You might want to seriously consider getting and a Blue Eddy AC180. It's kind of the, it is the top of the line of their mobile units. They have a number of other models that have less capacity, and then they have models that are above this one that can literally run an entire house. Be prepared.